Friends, we are back into ordinary time here. I am back in the green and of course we are in the midst of this ordinary time between Christmas season and Lent and you know most of our lives right are ordinary season and yet what the scripture is trying to help us to recognize is that Jesus is always at work in the ordinary of our lives. It is in the ordinary of everyday living that the extraordinary grace of God is at work in us and as we all know there's a difference about knowing things about someone and knowing someone being in the relationship with someone right and that's what the scripture today points out right we hear today a story taken from john and it's a, a story of the first miracle of jesus at the wedding at cana and what the story really tells us is that mary who really intimately knew her son Mary who really knew everything about Jesus and who above all knew Jesus as his mother, Mary knew what to expect from him. Unlike others, Mary knew that Jesus had the power to manifest uh, his favor, his love, and then change water into wine. And so Mary called Jesus to act on the power that he had, right? It takes in intimacy with Jesus. It takes closeness of being with Jesus to know that He truly indeed His power to change our lives. And so that is my prayer for all of us during this ordinary time, friends, that we recognize that Jesus has the power to change our lives, to work in our lives, and to move us forward. Friends, I invite you throughout this, uh, this ordinary time to just make a next step with us in your own understanding of how Jesus is at work in your life. Maybe Mary and her example invites you to really consider uh, learning more about Jesus. Join our Following Jesus series that will begin uh, this week. Join us for our Alpha course that will begin in two weeks. Join us for the Bible course. There are so many ways you know, for, uh, for us to make a next step in recognizing that Jesus truly is present in our lives and that He loves us. If we know Him, we then can rely on His power and His work in our lives. Friends, there are so many ways in which God is working in our community and then through us, right? There's so many ways in which we serve those in need, serve our homeless brothers and sisters, are sent to bring hope to our refugee families, reach out in love and compassion to so many, because first we recognize that God is at work in our lives, and out of this recognition comes our desire to serve one another. Isn't that what Martin Luther King taught us? Tomorrow as we celebrate his day, we are reminded how this man was transformed by his relationship with Jesus. He knew that in God's eyes we are all equal, cherished and loved by God, and therefore he was unafraid to preach the end of racism and discrimination in just the same way. Jesus, who is at work in our lives, calls us to the same sense of preaching and the same sense of witness in which we call uh, to invite others into relationship with each other. Friends, let us pray that the example of Martin Luther King will empower us to be people of encounter, people of love, and people of boldness. God bless you all.